Good morning everyone. If you're watching this in 2020, happy new year. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will tell you about my top eight healthy habits that I think everyone should adopt in 2020 for a healthier and happier life. Definitely, I will take a lot of them for myself. Without further ado, that's the word. <laughs> Let's get into this video. Since you're watching this YouTube video, I'm guessing you're using a lot of social media. So my first tip obviously is about social media and is about using social media in a positive way only. Even if we're sharing our struggles in our daily life, we should all support ourselves instead of spreading hate all over the comments, Instagram, YouTube. I think we would all benefit from a lot of love and support. A good thing I find personally helps me a lot is to declutter the people that I follow. So after a few months, I always go through my following list and I see who I am really following and do I really agree with those people and what they're sharing and do I actually see their content and how does their content make me feel? Because some people might be really nice, but in a way their content makes you feel bad about yourself, about not being like them, about your physical appearance, about your life, about your lifestyle. I would just unfollow them really. You're allowed to unfollow me if I make you feel bad, but <laughs> hopefully I don't. <laughs> Second habit is screen restriction. I think this is a new problem that we're facing in today's society and I am so guilty of this habit. I have tried several times to wake up and not look at my phone and yet I'm here. Wake up, take my phone, put off the airplane mode and I'm on Instagram already. I mean, this is such a bad habit because you're already distracted, not even started your day, you're already seeing information that you aren't supposed to see. Whether that Instagram or just your phone, I think we need to restrict our screen time because we don't really know now what's their impact on the brain, on our vision, on everything, but I don't believe it can be that good. I would suggest that everyone, and I'm gonna do it, we all wake up maybe by an alarm clock, maybe by something that won't like let you go on your phone but wake up and allow until your breakfast time to even look at your phone no phone in your bed i think it's really important at night time past 10 p.m what are you even doing on your phone you know i know most of you would think that yeah but emily it's your job to be on social media but not really actually most of my job is creating content for sure but that's outside of social media social media is just like the end process of it it's just like the uploading platform it's just a way where we connect but honestly i can be fine being like an hour or two max on my phone but now in my statistic it's just incredible it's incredible i spend like five six hours a day on instagram i don't even know how that's possible what am i even doing with my life for me it's going to be a massive massive habit that i'm going to try to implement in 2020 <laughs> The third habit is to eat more plants. I know so many of you already started this habit in 2019 and it's made me so happy to see how many people sort of make an effort to eat more plants. We all know, I think by now, that eating plant-based meal is just better for the planet, it's better for the animal, it's better for your ethics, it's better for your health. I am vegan, so obviously I'm not gonna tell you to eat meat, that's for sure. That being said, I just know that we don't have all the same priorities and values. I've learned that with time. And I know that being vegan is not possible for everyone and not everyone's willing to be vegan. We all have our own journey. And that's why I've always said and think that doing a little bit is always gonna be better than doing nothing. If you're leaning towards a more plant-based life and vegan lifestyle, however, please be careful. Can't just say, just gonna replace my legs and my meat with fake meat or plant-based meat, that's definitely not healthy. There's a good way to do it. I believe that everyone should be educated if you really wanna do it. I'm sharing a lot of what I eat in a days and tips on my YouTube channel and Instagram, but I do believe that everyone should have the tools to make the right decisions. This is actually a perfect transition for me to talk to you about this special project that me and 59 other people 
have prepared for you and it's launching January 1st. So you know guys, or maybe you don't, but I do have an ebook called The Mindful Life. It's an ebook to help you and guide you leading and living a more mindful lifestyle and vegan lifestyle. But there's so many other incredible people that wrote ebooks and everyone has their specialty. Some people are really good at making vegan desserts, vegan Asian food. Some people have healed their gut on a vegan lifestyle. Some people have overcome emotional eating. Other people have raised kids on a vegan lifestyle or being pregnant on a vegan lifestyle. Other people have had a vegan wedding. You get the idea. We all have our specialty and we thought it'd be a super nice idea to combine all of our ebooks together into a mega bundle. So we've gathered our 60 ebooks together, a total value of $1,324. And instead of being that really, really high price, which is the value of everything, you will be able to get it for $50, which is an incredible steal. Obviously, you don't need to be reading all of the 60 ebooks. Let's say wanted to get my ebook and maybe the new test bag vegan dessert, you would make a better value for your money because you would already save if you were to buy them separately it would be higher than $50. So I think if you're willing to transition to vegan lifestyle, this is a really, really good tool to have. It will really educate you so that you're all set and healthy. And yeah, I'm super excited to be part of this. Just so you know, this is a very short opportunity because it's launching tomorrow, 1st of January until the 9th of January. So it's a very short and sweet opportunity. So if you think that's something that would interest you, please click the link below and you'll know more. You'll know exactly what ebooks are included and what subjects are included, if it can help you, if it can't help you. The link below is bit.ly slash vegan paradise. In case that wasn't clear, I'm part of this project. So obviously I'm gonna make money out of this. Only if you're using my link, however. So if you're discovering this project through my video, it'd be super nice of you to use my link. I personally purchased it. I did not get it for free and it's really, really, really worth the money. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's move on to the next step. You know, I'm rather a person that will say only do what makes you happy, but there are certain things that you will have to do no matter what. Well, my healthy habit for 2020 is to do those shores. Is that the word? Shore or core? Hey Siri, how do you say core? Shore. Well, those tasks that we need to do and that will not disappear, do them as soon as you can. ASAP. They're gonna wait for you and the more you wait, the bigger they'll get and the bigger they'll get, the scarier they'll be. So maybe you're used to come home and just drop everything on the floor and directly go to your living room. Maybe your healthy habit will be to put in place your shoes, your bag, your coat, so that you just have a clear space and it takes not more than 10 seconds to do. And it's just so easier instead of just accumulating stuff. My biggest issue is dishes. Guys, I don't have a dishwasher and most of the time I just eat and drink things, put it in a sink, drop some water in there. There's nothing worse than going to bed, waking up in the morning, you think like you're gonna have a really great and healthy productive day, but then you go to the kitchen and you're just like, my past is following me. My biggest nightmare is in front of my eyes. And there's nothing better than to wake up Go to the kitchen, everything's clean. Everything's super clean, super duper clean. I mean, this is my biggest issue. Please hold me accountable that I will never ever have dishes before going to bed. <laughs> Next habit, exercise smarter and not harder. Repeat after me, exercise smarter and not harder harder in case that wasn't clear a lot of expert physical therapists physical trainer a lot of people are saying stop 
draining yourself on exercise. Obviously exercise is a really good part and a really healthy part of a lifestyle, especially that we are now sitting most of the time in our day. However, we have found that it's not really beneficial to sit on your butt for nine hours and exercise super hard for an hour. Some days it might be the healthiest choice, but most of the time it won't be. You know, we are more and more stressed every day. That's a fact. And exercise actually puts stress on our body. Even if you're mentally really happy when you exercise, your muscle working and tearing and all that is stress on your physical body. And stress, whether that is mental, like something that you can feel stressed about, or whether that is physical, eventually in the body, that translates to higher cortisol level and your body is not able to go into a parasympathetic nervous system anymore. And this unfortunately leads to burnouts and things like adrenal fatigue, chronic fatigue, people are super tired. That's pretty much what happened to me last year as I had a lot of stress and I wish this to no one. Obviously there's so much I could say about this. I think maybe I can do a separate video, otherwise I'll just talk for hours and hours and hours and no one really wants to hear that. <laughs> All that stress just leads me to the next tip, which is to include some meditative activity daily. What is a meditative activity? Emily? In my opinion, it's an activity where you're kind of daydreaming and scrolling through Instagram, looking at dreamy pictures doesn't count at all. So if you're really sedentary, if you're not living in a stressful city, maybe for you that's going to be running for an hour. For me, as a yoga teacher and as having a lot of stress around me in Paris, running is not a de-stressful activity for my nervous system and I need something that's less active. Sometimes I'll do a meditation, like sit in meditation and just meditate. Other times cooking is great, painting is great, writing is great, baking is great, maybe just sitting and enjoying the sound of the birds. Of, oh my gosh, just sitting outside of a cafe. I don't even take my phone, I just go there. I grab like two euros to pay for my coffee and I just sit there and watch people and invent people's life. Love this, it's so nice. But yeah, it can be this, it can be maybe just laying on your bed and watching and staring at the ceiling and just let yourself be. <laughs> The next tip is to learn to say no and to value your time. If it's not a hell yes, it's a no. And whether that is for your time or for the things that you're purchasing, I really don't have anything else to say. <laughs> The last habit is to learn something new this year. After high school, after university, maybe you're still a student, but it's so easy to fall into the routine of just being okay with what you know and just settling in with your little routine, your knowledge. And I just think it's not healthy to just be dumb when you're older because you're just stuck in your own mindset and your own perspective. You could learn how to dance, how to speak French. By the way, I have a French channel, so if you're interested, you can learn how to speak French through my French channel. Obviously, when you're an adult, you're able to pick what you want to learn, so you're going to be really interested. For me, I'm going to try to learn to play well tennis. I used to play tennis, but not that well, and I can't wait to start my lessons. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna learn for 2020. I wanna know what you're gonna learn for 2020, so please let me know in the comments. And this wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you will be able to apply some of those tips, maybe one, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five, maybe six, maybe seven, or eight of those tips. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to click the link below to learn more about the bundle. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please do so. The next video is going to be about food if you're interested in that, keep tuned and I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>